On this episode of Kemp Outside, we're going to take a look at the campground at General Coffee State Park in Nichols, Georgia. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. If you're looking for a fantastic place in southern Georgia to go stay for a couple of days and do some camping, I highly recommend General Coffee State Park in Nichols, Georgia. We did some campsite reviews for this campground, so if you want to check that out, check it out on my Campsites by Kemp Outside YouTube channel. I'll put a link to the playlist right up here so you can check that out. But guys, this campground is awesome. It's not very big. It was very quiet when we were there. We had a blast just hanging out. Let's take a look at some of the features at General Coffee State Park's campground. General Coffee State Park is located in southern Georgia. It's easily accessed by Atlanta, Macon, Columbus, Albany, Tallahassee, Florida, and Jacksonville. As state parks go, General Coffee State Park is not a large state park, but there's lots to see and do. There's some great hiking trails, and it's always fun to check out the Heritage Farm. The campground is indicated by the red arrow, and it's comprised of two campground loops. We'll take a look at those loops here in a little bit. Let's take a look at some of the restrooms at General Coffee State Park's campground. There are two comfort stations in the campground, one in campground number one and one in campground number two. We'll take a look at the one in campground number one. And I should mention that a new comfort station is being built in campground number one, so you should be able to see that soon, but it wasn't available when I shot this video. So here's a look at the comfort station in campground number one as it currently sits. It's equipped with a washer and dryer for doing laundry, as well as a table for some folding of clothes. And then here's the inside of the men's restroom. Sorry ladies, I never go into the women's restroom. I don't want to get arrested. But as you can see, there are some sinks. And then down this way, you're going to see some stalls like that one and then there are also two showers in this building it's not very easily handicapped accessible which is why I imagine they're probably building the new comfort station in campground number one but while the new comfort station is being built this comfort station will remain open for your use in campground number one that's a look at the shower there. It'll be really nice when they get the new comfort station built. And we'll take a look at the comfort station in campground number two. This comfort station is newer and I think better than the one in campground number one. So there's a look at this comfort station from the outside. And there's a little lending library there as well, which is nice. It also has handicap parking coming up to it. And like the other comfort station, it does have laundry facilities and a folding table, which is nice. And then here's a look at the men's restroom from this comfort station. So sinks and mirrors. A urinal and some stalls and then of course there are showers So your pretty standard comfort station as you can see this one does have a little bit larger opening which is suitable for uh, handicap users. And that is a look at the restrooms and comfort stations in this campground. The playground is located between the two campground loops. Let's take a look. 
If you camp with small children, you know just how important the playground is. And this playground is really nice. It's located between the campgrounds and it's very easily accessible from either campground loop. And it's in a shaded section of woods, so it's really nice to hang out there and watch the kids play. There are lots of slides, things to climb on, that kind of thing. It's not a terribly large playground, but should be able to entertain your kids for quite a while. And there's a mulch base, so you don't have to worry about them falling down. So all in all, a really nice playground for this little campground. If you're camping with a bunch of scouts or you have another big group, you can utilize the amphitheater in the campground. Let's take a look at it. Here's a look at the amphitheater in the campground, and I imagine this is a great place to hold presentations for scouts and other groups. Let's take a driving tour of the campground so you can get a feel for it. We'll start our driving tour by heading past the dump station and around the outside of campground number one. So we're passing the dump station on our right. As you can see, it's nice and shaded and wooded in this campground. As we make our way into campground number one, you'll see we are approaching campsite one to the right. Campsite 3 there on the left is a host site, passing campsite 2 on the right. On the left there is the comfort station, passing campsite 4 on the right and 5 on the left. There's campsite 6 on the right. I really like the pull through sites. On the outside of the loop, your awning will face the woods. Really nice kind of secluded feel. Passing campsite number seven on the right. As well as number eight. If we go left, that'll take us past campsites nine, 10, 11, and 12. We're gonna continue on straight past site 13. There's the playground there off to the right. There's a trash receptacle to the left. As we continue to come around the loop, passing site 15 on the right. Got 17 off to the left, 18 off to the right, 19 to the left, 23 there on the left is a camp host. Pass site 25 to the right there. And so that's a look at loop number one. We're going to leave loop one, campground loop one, and then we're going to head down the road and into campground number two. We're going to follow the path with the red arrows. All right, so we are going to head out of campground loop number one there. There's some more trash receptacles off to the left. So this campground does have yellow gates to close the campground, but I never saw them closed. I'm guessing that as long as campers are in there, those gates remain open. And so campground two is a little distance down the road, but not too far. It's a really pretty drive through this campground. And 
we are approaching campground number two. So we'll turn right. As we head in, if you go off to the right there, there's a like picnic shelter to the right. So this is a one-way loop like the other loop. And so on the right there, we're approaching site 26, which is a host site on the right. And on the left is site number 27, which is also a host site. We're passing campsite 28 on the right and then 29 on the right. And so we're going to go down the middle of the campground. So we're passing site 30 on the left and 31 on the right. The comfort station is off to the left. You just can't see it in the frame of the video. So we're passing 32 and 33 and then 34 on the left and 35 on the right as we come back to the intersection. Okay, so now we're passing 43 on our left. That should be 44 on the right. Now passing 46 on the left, 45 on the right and 47 on the right. As we make our way out of this campground, there's site 50 on the right, and that's the last site in the campground. But we're going to continue around the loop because we need to hit the outside edge up on the north side of the loop. So we're going to go around the loop again. And again, we're passing some camp hosts here. So that's site 26 on the right, and then coming up site 27 on the left. There's the main comfort station off to the left there. So instead of turning left like we did last time, we're going to continue on and go straight. So as we go straight, we're passing site 29 on the right, and then site 36 on the right, 37 on the left. There's 38 on the right. And as some campers were finally packing up here, I'm going to detour through campsite 39, as you'll see here in a second. And the magic of YouTube, they're gone. We're going to work our way around this camper by detouring into site 39. Coming back out onto the road, that's site 40 to the left. And we're coming up on site 41 to the right. And we'll make our way back out this loop. Passing site 46 again on the left. There's site 49 on the left again, and then we'll be passing site 50, which is the final site in the campground, as I said before. And now we're making our way out of campground loop number two.
as we make our way out of this campground loop, there's a trailhead just to the right there. That trail is to the Gopher Trail, which is an awesome trail. Be sure to check out my video on the Gopher Trail. I'll put a link down in the description below and a link up in the top left corner of the screen. And as we ride out along the main park road, we're going to come up on the dump station which will be on the left and I'll show you that in just a second. You may notice that there are some campsites on the right. I think those sites are reserved for extra camp hosts during the busy season. And as we roll into the dump station you can see pretty standard dump station and that is a tour of the campground. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that campground review at General Coffee State Park. If you want to check out our hiking video from the campground at General Coffee State Park, I'm going to put a link to it right up here. It was an awesome trail through some really nice upland pine forest, some, uh, some sand hill habitat, really, really cool place to explore. Guys, and we really enjoyed our time at General Coffee State Park. Like I said, if you're looking for a great place to camp in southern Georgia, add General Coffee State Park to your bucket list. So guys, we are doing more and more campsite reviews on our Campsites by Camp Outside YouTube channel, so I'm gonna put a link to it right up here. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we have all of our General Coffee State Park campsite videos up on that channel already. But we've got a lot of parks uh, on that channel already, and we're producing more all the time. So check that out if you want individual walkthrough campsite reviews. And also guys, we're making a whole lot more changes to this YouTube channel, so we're doing a whole lot of gear reviews, campground reviews, fishing videos, hiking videos, all kinds of stuff right here at Camp Outside. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos, and hit that thumbs up on this video. Also, guys, you can connect with us on our website at www.campoutside.com, or you can connect with us at our other social media at Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. If you have any questions about camping at General Coffee State Park or the park in general, drop something in the comments below. Or if you've stayed there, guys, tell us what you think of the park. So Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So if you have any questions about getting your kids outside, also drop something in the comments. Or as I mentioned before, you can hit us up on our social media. Guys, thanks for watching Camp Outside. That's all I have for you today. We'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.